So, last where we left off with a rather fun sort of affairs, no. shall we say. Well, the party entered the small town of Bogler after having their own little issues. These, they really kind of had their own trials, tribulations and such to go over. Uh, before we start, are, we are supposed to be level 2, correct? 3. Uh, level 3. You, everyone's to be level 3, you're just not level 3 yet. Once we're doing this, my guy, on you go. Um, Did I miss a session? No, uh, after the Battle oh. of Hyatt, it's Milestones. So, I'm just okay. going to be down by the book. Um, and as I've already said, um, I think I said it to both John and Elvie, um, this first chapter of the book... Oh, Driving Lamborghinis down the whole barn. <laughs> so, uh, in regards to what you said there, John, I will get you that section in the it book. Seems I think that may really be some hey. older stuff, but I'll certainly get you that section. That's the Scottish made for me last year? Correct. So, Hello, I said. The and this is like the fifth time you've said this. And came to Bogler. Oh, yeah. And going to Bogler, they yeah. had their own issues. They all saw some weird and wonderful little things. Had been given their own little like missions from either deity or from their own organizations, shall we say. In that time, the party took part in the King Fisher Festival. Oh. In the King Fisher Festival, they all caught some fish, done some trading, yeah. some standard owl good shit as they do. And some of them yeah. were given some mementos. Yeah. And it they met a bit of an asshole of a man, let's be honest. Could you call him a man? We all agreed he looked like a bit of a dick. Uh who heckled his way through an awful lot of people's eulogies. Eulogies that were forwarded by the person who invited you is one Declan is not going to try to pronounce that. At the funeral, you also met a lovely little dwarven woman called Cudgel Iron Smile. And shortly afterwards, the next day, as you were all going around doing your own thing, some of you had spent the night at the little tower on the outskirts of town. Some of you were joined by Declan Squire, Darrett, for breakfast there. We were asked, as a last wishes from your friend Espen, to take part in the Kingfisher Festival. You did! And by the end of it, you went to a small little... I want to use the word Civil War reenactment. <laughs> Where it's themed around town. And you were asked to take Beckman's place and he's enjoyed it. These were pumped, ready to go, and as the bugle went almost immediately the vibe was off. As you watched as what should have been a fake sinking of an axe into someone's head. Turned out to be a very real sinking of an axe into someone's head. And you were forced to fight through that. Fighting off the people who were attacking these people from the... They have a name? The Ironclad Regiment. People from the Ironclad Regiment led by Cudgel Ironsmith. Some of them were attacking with lethal force and actual weapons. And some of them were just as much shock as you were. Regardless of how that all ended up for and though you ultimately came out victorious with the help of Darrett. As the town's mayor and town's folk all came to grasp with the situation at hand. Takes us pleasantly on to today's session. Will you still stand on the battlefield of High Hill amidst all the bloodshed and all the death? Many injured dragging themselves along.
Those. We need to. I'm just trying to get some music. So I think we all give them. I'm feeling all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got your level up. Music. Over. We need music. Evergreen everlasting. Yeah, that sounds all right. <laughs> There we go. So let's use. Damn, that's got some fucking grab attached to it. These all stand the giant half orc and his guards defeated. The mercenaries scattered amongst the battlefield. Many men retreating. If you watch as Mayor Raven Becklin. Any other spectators seem to rush towards you. People lying on the ground, grasping for air while this music is now really juxtaposing. <laughs> they all gasp for air, some of them. Some already long past their expiration date. As you will. Mayor Raven runs up. Firstly, first, first, thank you, thank you. Um, this could have gotten worse. Um, I, hmm, I'm using the wrong microphone. <laughs> Took me a moment to realise. Seriously, guys. <laughs> Didn't think it sent it off. No. <laughs> Is she gonna look around? Uh, thank you, thank you. Almost in shock and awe, the levels of violence unforeseen, unseen by her to present date. As it were, these watches, Darrett and Becklin seem to be having their own sided conversation. So after a moment, Kajun seems to be. Pursuing the battlefield. What are we all doing? I think we need to search the the attackers, the orc, and their his companions to see if there's any indication of where they came from or who they work for. Uh, bad need, idea. I also want to triage any any people to see if there's anybody I can help in whatever way I can was way of healing to prevent passing. Yeah, yeah, yeah there, there are many a people, you know, being carried off in states of almost death, as opposed to the word I'd be looking for there. There are some who are grievously wounded, some who are mortally wounded, and some who some who will never lift a sword again, to say the least. <laughs> Pick a couple, yeah. You know. Yeah, so, uh, Exodus would be helping as well, moving people, clearing bodies, whatever is needed. Yep, so, so yeah, first and foremost, for uh, Renard, as you are, you know, you are walking around after pursuing all this. You do see people who are. You see a man, let's say. So he's been carted off in a stretcher. Oh, makeshift, as it are. A dagger stuck in his side, profusely bleeding out. As the sort of people look. Do you have any way to give aid to this man? Are you a doctor, apothecary? Uh, kind of leans in. A priest who could give last rites and. Uh, we we don't know how long he'll make it, if he'll make it back to town. I believe I may be able to help. I walk over as gently as possible, remove the dagger, and cast the cure wounds. Busting that spell level right out, nice. The gods may help this man, I say. <laughs> Let's see. Kind of stop for a moment and laugh before they watch as from your hand 
becomes this glow of energy. As it does, they watch as the wind seems to start stitching itself as if... As they kind of look, as the man sits up from the stretcher. A younger man, by all accounts. Clearly had his whole life ahead of him. As he and looks and lifts the shirt. He starts poking where it was. He kind of looks up. What? What magic is that? Stunned and aghast. I say, Kiri Jolif has laid his healing hand upon you. Blessed you with a second chance at life. Use it well. Spread the word that the gods are back. Waiting for us to listen to them. As the man looks. Just nods. I, I will... I will certainly be looking more into this. He watches, he stands from the stretcher. Almost everyone who had saw this man walking by almost seems to turn and look as he just walks away from a mortal wind. See. Two medics. And then Fane runs up and stabs him. No! <laughs> <laughs> Is Fane moving right now? Uh, he's all kind of just still scattered around the battlefield at the moment, just walking around. Um, so you, know, you can see people who are wounded, you can see the dead from the um, Iron... Um, I'm going to get their name, the Ironclad Regiment. You can see like, dead from them as well as dead from the guards of Vogler. There's all manner and it's very easy to pick them out as the Vogler's townspeople who are dead don't have fake swords. I guess Melina will be cleaning the wounds with yep. prestidigitation so that they don't get infected. Yeah, uh, I was going to write in this name. Ironclad Regiment. Writing that down because I know I'll forget it. <laughs> yep. These are yeah. cleaning the wounds. I would say within about an hour's time, sort of triage camp is built up for so long. You see the regrouping of Becklin, Mayor Raven, and Cudgel. So they all seem to be having a rather spirited talk, shall we say. Anyone else wish to be doing anything else at this moment in time? Uh, Baralis would be looking for his arrows. Oh yeah. Um all that he missed. Ruling, ruling in that one, at the end of every combat, you gain back half the arrows you fired. Oh. So you you had twenty arrows to start with, you fired five, oh. so give yourself back three. Well it's just assume yeah. that like half of them are in there too deep or something. Yeah, I'm, I'm also... Yeah? Oh, sorry, just missing. Uh, Browse, you can also run an investigation check if you wish, as during that combat there were a few hails of arrows that came down, you may be able to scavenge a few more. Um, how many... Well, that's fine. How many did you say I got back? You say three? Three, yeah. However, there were also two hail of arrows, which means you could potentially get more if you wish to do a check. You may also find yourself an entire quiver full. Again, just depends. Yeah. What, what did you say, investigation? Yep. Uh, can I also make that check? Uh, yeah, you can make that check as well if you wish to be looking around. Um, None. Unfortunately, as you, as you look around at these arrows mm. all over the place, you reckon they probably snapped when they hit the ground? It is a hard, you know, they're in there, but they ain't doing too good. You make a judgment call there. Exodus, as you look round, do you find 
three good looking arrows, not too well worn. They are serviceable to say the least. Everything else seems not up to your standards, shall we say. Your mm. high standards. Awesome. So yeah, yeah, I'll take those. I'm just trying to figure out how to uh -oh. oh, I'm trying to figure out how to edit this. So, you got arrows? The, yeah, I have... Yeah, I, it's due to the update, an awful lot of things have fucked over. Your arrows say arrows bracket 19, and then when you hover over it, you'll see another 19. Yeah. Just, um... I'll change it for you when I want. Blame the, blame the new sheetings. Uh, do you need me to update you as well, uh, Barrels? Oh, no, I don't. Would it be 22? 19 plus 3. You're right. Excuse me, I've spent all day at work with um, no systems, not actually doing work, watching Modern Family. <laughs> <laughs> That's my fucking life right now. Yeah. Uh, anyone doing anything else at the moment? Uh, for lack of better terminology, we'll say Cosmo is, I don't know, tending to the wind as well. Nope. <clears throat> Once I've done what I can to tend to the wounded, I'm going to start searching the aggressors here and see if there's any indication insignia on their armor or weapons. Yeah, uh, um, it's a investigation, perception, or sleight of hand, entirely your choice, whichever is more advantageous there. Yeah, I guess so. Yes. They, all seem, they all seem to be wearing their standard armor that they should have been wearing for the battle. As you look round everything they have, nothing seems to indicate that they have any nothing seems to indicate they have anything for this. They don't They don't have anything to incriminate anyone else. Can I make that check as well? Yeah, yeah. Can I feel if there's anything magical on the bodies? Wow. If you frisk the bodies down, apart from their standard, you know, their standard kit that they would normally have on them, they don't seem to have anything else. And you're looking for something magical on the bodies? Just to see if they... Do they have anything magical, like faint magical aura or something? I'd say I can be an arcana check on that. Okay. I'm gonna guide myself. <laughs> Man, the, the not not prestidigitation. <laughs> not prestidigitation, ignore that. We really picked things off well tonight. Yeah, we did. 1d8 plus 1 for a maximum of 9. Excellent. Follow that up. As you kind of walk around and take in your surroundings, feeling for any auras from anything, there is nothing magical, nothing innate or off in regards to what you find. As you just are all watching and looking, eventually the three strongest ladies in the town the mayor becklin and cudgel seem to come to you as becklin looks you have done a fine job tonight thank you you've uh, you've made the city a little safer the town a little safer and you know, looks over towards Renard. You've done the order proud. We've... We can't quite ascertain what's happened. Or what's... She watches Cudgel comes with a deep gash on her head that seems to have been cleared. Someone, somewhere, has done something. We need answers. You know this orc and his men, were they... He was my lieutenant. 
So someone has perhaps charmed them to do this. Someone has done something. We've got one already. Let's, when I mean, you are ready, let's head back to town. We I can... lay my hand on her gashed head and do another cure wounds on her. Counter. Paladin, hmm? fe Paladin features lay on hands. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Let's do that instead. Yeah. Just easy, you can burn it one, two, through however many you want, but also, you know, saves your spell slots. <laughs> um. So, I am supposed to have another skill proficiency because of monk lets me choose two, and I only have one on here. Skill lets me choose three, and I've chose those three. So, but I only have four chosen. So monk itself is supposed to give you a skill. It's supposed to give me two to choose from acrobatics, athletics, history, insight, religion, and stealth. I've only chosen insight on this list. And I'm assuming for skilled, I've chosen perception, persuasion, and sleight of hand. Uh, yeah, I'd say uh, just go ahead and rattle one off that you see fit, mate. Mm -hmm. A lot of weird shit happened in my sheet, so I can only apologize. <laughs> I'm just checking over everything, making sure I got stuff right. No, it's totally understandable, man. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say it's totally understandable. I played the session where I couldn't even level up. But yeah, as you head. This music is far too fucking cheery for what's going on, and that is battle music. Wait, so they, they, you had one attack already? Before? No, no, um... I was attacked. Someone in the fray made an attempt on my life. Ah. Uh. We've ascertained someone. We're taking them back to town. It's your choice if you wish to come with us now or you wish to head on elsewhere, tend to more wounded. Your choice. I'll go with you. Yeah. Are there any other wounded that may otherwise expire without my assistance? Nope. Mm, not by this point, no. Most of them have either Past, and I'm just gonna fix this. What's up, man? <laughs> I'm just I'm noticing up. things that are gross <laughs> on my sheet. You've noticed that what's on your sheet? Well, we'll go over it later, Scottish. DM it, please, my guy. Yeah, okay. If, 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 if they, we can recreate this character. It's, it, it's mostly just my proficiencies, that's it. Right now, I don't have issues with proficiencies when making a character as well. Like, are mm -hmm. you trying to add the proficiency? What's going on? Yeah, I'm just add, I'm just adding proficiencies because they're the ones I'm supposed to have. So what yes. what are you taking as a proficiency okay. you're trying to add right now? Uh, okay, so get this. Okay. Um, Wanderer gives me my insight and perception proficiency. Mm -hmm. Being monk gives me two proficiencies upon like a certain list. Mm -hmm. I thought it was insight, but no. Far Traveler gave me insight. Okay. I need to pick three different proficiencies on this list from skill, which I'm guessing what I got persuasion and sleight of hand from. But where's the third one? Acrobatics is from me being a monk, so I need to pick another one for monk. Insight and perception is from Far Traveler, and I need to pick another one for my skilled feet. Because the only tool proficiencies I have is also from the same. Um, so are you are you yet to add one more proficiency? I'm yet to add two more proficiencies. Okay. Do you know what Do you know what they are that you wish to add? 
Um, I, I sure, 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 sure. Yeah, I'll just, like, I'll just toss them on. Yeah, it's because if it wasn't saving or such, then you know, I'd recreate the character for you as we do things. <laughs> I'll just do uh, athletics. Yep. I'm, I'm not gonna call and... into question anything you've, you've done in that regard with that. Um, I think it could be a, a carryover from when we deleted that feat that you somehow had. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's just a whole bunch of screwy stuff with my shit. <laughs> don't like it. Yeah, yep. I'll say is you should travel down mm -hmm. into town. The ambience in town is rather is different now. The joys of the joys of the celebration have now passed. And everyone seems just a little tense now. Sorry. That's alright. Please for the love of God be a better. You are too yeah. dark for this shit. Yeah, what? You're, you're creepy enough, music wise. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you, just, you just head back into town just... following the group. You Was the assassination attempt on the mayor or back then? Cudgel. 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 I thought then a dwarf with a Scottish accent would be like, but no, I guess now the dwarves are Mexican or something. <laughs> As... <laughs> you have to give you have to give the dwarves a Scottish accent. Oh. <laughs> hey, senor, they made an attempt on my life. Oh lord. Why did I do that? <laughs> just, I have no idea. I like Speedy Gonzales. You just head back into town. With the group. He watches. The festivities do not continue. The town almost seems to immediately shut down. As you just head back to the Brass Crab. You take a well deserved nap. As you mm. watch. It's in there. The mayor sits with Cudgel, Becklin. There's, there's a spread of food around. And you just walk in. See all making a looks around. Um. We'll eat up. It's only going to go to waste. America looks. We have to get to the. Really? Really? You play a different tune now. Fuck you sideways. We have to get to the bottom of this. We have to figure out what's going on. She watches. Becklin grabs a chair. And she does. Without saying a word. Change the map. Without saying a word. She takes the chair. To the room up here. As, as two men drag a third beaten and bloodied man into the room. Into the front door of the crab and into the room. As the door closes, you watch as Cudgel sits with a drink in quiet contemplation. As everyone stands tensely watching Cudgel. She finishes her drink and places down the tankard. She reaches into her bag, pulls out a rather thick looking knife. And she starts walking to the room, you watch as the mayor kind of puts her hand out. 
I understand you want answers. There is a limit. And she kind of looks. Does any of you... Yeah, spreads her hand around to yourselves. Have any way of coaxing information from someone? I'd rather not sully the town with rumours of tortures and interrogations in this establishment. I've realised these people have tokens. So if you won't tell. She kind of looks at you. I'd rather not be telling anyone that it didn't happen. Oh, you don't have it. What did you say, John? I said I don't have it. Zone of truth, I don't have. I don't have it. anything that would help either. Nope, nothing here. Unless we're supposed to... Unless we are currently level 3. We are currently level 3. I should level up then. Probably. <laughs> Unless you want me to freeze the water in his body slowly. Character uh, Manson. I said no. I said no torture. Uh, uh, argu arguably worse than stabbing a man. But thank you. She watches. I mean, shape water does freeze water, so... She watches Kudjo kind of pushes her to the side and walks out of the room. You hear the door slam. The next 10, 15 minutes or so are tense. Quiet comes over the bar as... Everyone seems to be listening. As the mayor looks. Not that I don't trust what's going on, but... Does... Anyone wish to... Aid... In what's going on? Do you look on, on her face alone the worst? is all she can imagine. And the quiet to her is torture. I can guide someone. If you wish to go in and assist, you can. If not, then we wait. I do this, we're going to walk in. Yeah, uh, should be on the map. You should be able to walk in. We're not paused. Sorry. Uh, uh, which room is it? Hmm? Which room is it? Your room. Uh, ah, okay. We. None of us spent any time in, in, in the room, but okay. Dukes of Hazards over the bar. So you open the door, you see Kudjo standing there. The guard broken, bloodied mess. The knife! Clean. She looks. She's tied to this chair. Just tell me what I want to know. And you can live. Or don't tell me and things could get much worse for yourself see looks this is nothing that i am aware of i cast 
I swear there's nothing that I know. I was just given orders by Gregonis and did what he asked, assuming these orders came from yourself. And who is Gregonis? He was, um, you killed him. Half ogre. Ah. Well, I, I say you killed him. He's gonna nudges his head towards or not. His friend killed him. She watches. She. Is he a citizen of the sit of the town? Is he a citizen of the town? Oh no, he's a member of the Ironclad Regiment. Okay. He watches. Cudgel takes the knife. I am very much aware that that there is a lie. She watches, she kind of holds the knife, millimeter, kind of pushes forward, holding it millimeters from his eye. Tell me again. Tell me. What I want to know. Are you... Don't go home. Is he gonna... Looks around. I've, I've, I've told you everything. Like, great insight. Yeah. Sorry, can I you can. Great insight check him too? I wanna yeah. be a part of this. I'm gonna touch you and say go Google the good luck. That late roll was made, however, 14 is is enough. Okay. This man seems way too relaxed for a man with a knife mere millimeters from his eyes. Tied, bloodied, bruised. He seems just a bit too confident for someone in his position. Almost a cocky confidence. I'm going to... I could always but... chill his chair to make his arts freeze a bit, to make him more uncomfortable. <laughs> make a shot in the dark. I'm okay. gonna say, what were your orders in Draconic? As let me check our languages. Cool, gets it. Cool, gets it. As you. Start speaking this out. Both Cudgel and the man look at you. I'm gonna look at each other. This bizarre confusion comes over them. Like they don't understand their language or something? They clearly do not understand nor have heard Draconic. You would not a bit. Okay. This brings a weird, uneasy awkwardness to the room. You watch as the light just seems to catch the knife, and as it does, you watch as the man's eyes enlarge. As the knife is now. Through his hand in the chair. He watches a small tear comes to his eye. Who said what? Everyone on the outside, after hearing this, you then heard the thudding bang. Uh, I'm so tempted to do something. 
You want to do not, something it's to not, But it's not in Melino's character to use mage and to threaten his, this man's genitals. I can't... <laughs> Fuck me, man. <laughs> it's, it's not in her character. Yeah. Anyone else cross their legs just a little <laughs> bit when she said that? <laughs> but it is in your character, which is even scarier. Uh... As you watch. As he looks... Dragonus had plans to kill you and to take control of the regiment. A few days ago, he headed into the woods west of a camp and returned with considerable bags of gold. He then hired a few of us to stage this attack and then raid the town. She kind of takes the knife and twists. Ooh. I don't know who. Where is your camp exactly? She kind of pipes up. West of town. Just outside the town into the west. It's a small off bankment for obvious reasons. And Gorgonis went east of the camp in the woods? Hmm. West of that camp again. Okay, west of that camp. Maybe we can track track where the dead Gorgonis went. But also, why would you follow an ogre? Besides him hiring you? See, can I looks up here in his eye and looks at you. Well, first, f f f f firstly, ha half ogre. Secondly, is that not a bit racist? He was a good man for the most part. Good men don't partake in murder for hire. He made a good few points. It happens. And we murder had... happen. Coups happen. She watches. He's saying all whatever this. Name you, hmm? Whatever name you give it, it's still dishonorable and wrong. It deserves to end in death for those who plot such nefarious things. I say you kill him, Cudgel. I believe he's exposed himself as a murderer. She looks. Well, sta. Good. Yes, yes. However, currently he's just worth that bit more alive. Just a tiny bit more alive. As. Some men at the camp may still be paid off. There may not be a camp, however. A few chase reactions and choice wordings will... They will serve us all and may expose more. He is an example to be used now. An example to be used later. Until then, as you watch, as he pulls the knife out of his hand. Uh. He's not going anywhere. As you watch, as she, you know, get down on her knees. And she does. You watch, as she pulls out a little rag. And she does kind of wipes the 
blood from the blade. Uh, Just the... Uh, Wait, up for is a there a way to stop his bleeding? It's a hand, he'll be fine. I mean, I, I I know that he deserves it, but you know, he not want to bleed oh. out. No, it's no, like like they said, it it was his hand. It was something like the neck, or like the inner thigh, or the wrist. Completely different story. But that was just his hand. It's not a mortal wound. He'll be. He'll recover. I'm not going to waste. Would firebolt it. work at like? Searing, searing the wound shut. If I just concentrate it on my hands, yeah, uh, you need something like produce, you need something like produce flame or um, continual flame. No, not even continual flame because that just gives light. You essentially like bonfire or something and something to cauterize. You what know. about if I um, run a finger down his wound and just freeze the blood? We shape water because blood is like. Think, a... Don't think you realize just how much more damage you'd be doing if you done that. <laughs> I mean, just at least the just freeze the the upper layer of the skin to stop the bleeding for a bit. I, I, I mean, you could biologically, you'd still be doing a lot more damage in the long run. Ah. Uh. Dead skin. Amputate the hand. <laughs> Not even that, the, the capillaries, when those freeze, those burst. Mm. Tell me you've watched too many medical shows without telling me you've watched too many medical shows. I got that one from Dexter, okay? That's actually <laughs> worse. I don't understand your desire to... What, can I, can I make a... Can I make a bandage? You create a non-magical trinket or an illusory image that can fit in your hand. Like a like a small bandit band aid. I'll tell you what. Actually, uh, you create a magical trinket. So I get a, tr a trinket, something you wear. As of that, I know, uh, like not I mean, a trinket. You, be. you also wear a band aid. <laughs> yeah, but a band a bandage actually stops things through physical use. That's specifically mm -hmm. illusionary. That's okay. kind of the same of putting up an illusionary wall to say, yeah, I fixed the crack in the window. But you can also create a, a key, and that's not illusionary. I was drunk. I mean, <laughs> if you f shape water into the keyhole and then I was make make, make a precipitation into the shaped water to make it a key, I don't know. How are you casting Presidentation and Shape Water at the same time? Guy, that one. No, is it? The, um, yeah. They last for a minute. And what is your desire to help this person? You're wasting your time. He's not going to die. He's in the care. He'll receive medical care from. I just don't like character. seeing people in pain. Well, or. You're going to see a yeah. lot of that coming up, so we should get used to it. We need to go. We have a direction. I say we go, if any of you are willing to accompany me, investigate the woods west of here. See what we can find. All right. My job. You wish to stay behind and continue to aid and treat his well, wounds? Then. That is up to you. It's my job to go out there. Um, oh, Seely, uh, we're martial characters, which means we came from the Iron Regiment, right? No, you, you came from you came from military. Is the the easiest way to say? Oh, so, okay, so, all right. Then I don't have any, is... I don't have like an extensive cool. source book on Kren like I do for the Sword Coast, so I can't say like you know, oh, you're a Harper, you're Zentharum, you're the uh, Lord's Alliance, but you know. No, right, no, I just got I just got those two like crossed. I thought that the Iron Regiment was what we came from. Um So if not, then he would uh just say, you know, I, I, we are military, we are supposed to it is our duty to solve these issues. All right. Mm -hmm. Walk 
going out. Let's get a schedule. So that, can we get mounts for those of a, our party that don't have any? Let's use... want to go. You can't walk a few miles. You're saying. I can walk a few miles. I don't want to walk a few miles and be tired when I get there and find what we may find. It's getting late. I, I made it up a bit too late. Don't worry. There we go. But there, there we go. Good timing. Let's use walk on out. Use over here, cudgel and mayor speaking. Oh. I'm gonna have to interrogate most of the troops, find out what's happening, and then. I'll be back. Don't, I'll be back. Don't take too long. Don't. You are welcome here. However, the sight of you right now is enough to put most people at ease. You run your own thing. Report to Becklin. Becklin report to me. And we'll try and hash things out. In the morning, I'll send some hunters to take that information that you've given and I'll I'll send them off to try and find what's going on and we'll put that one in a shed somewhere until there's adequate space somewhere else to put him and we'll we'll head out there and hopefully it's hopefully it's easy to get out leave through the back all the shoreline you can't miss it it's gonna thank you no i didn't stay safe no watch because you're gonna well just get no no scarf sober hood wise and they're almost disguised like wayne kind of starts running for the back it does the area how many bronze crab? Rather tense. As the mayor looks. You are welcome to stay here again tonight. Um, I'm. I'll get that room cleared. Don't. Some women at the bar. It's gonna nods and thumbs up. Um yourselves uh very odd 24 hours i know um the town's not usually like this i apologize um we are firstly once again so 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 thankful for everything you've done and as before that um i can have these i'm just gonna He's in her pocket and just kind of starts throwing his all just little bags. And they're going to over the bar with like some dishes on it, like the table and such. Deflect um, missile. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I'll deflect it towards me. I'll take it. <laughs> she, woo, woo. So, oh no, that was money. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a reflex. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna all get a little things in bag is gonna tss on the table you just saved the ta you saved the town you saved people more lives could have been lost please um a small token of our gratitude um th the town will pay for your stay here and please take 10 gold each on the town it's not much but it's it's better than it's better than just our thanks um you just came here for a funeral and Whilst there was still a body count, in the end, it was considerably lower than it could have been. Um, mm -hmm. As you've ever heard, I will be sending out a group of hunters in the morning to check everything. I'm eager to learn what's going on, but it's going to be hard to get someone right now to go out, um, given everyone's on their own high alerts. Oh, you have us, I guess. This... I say with a smile. Friendly I'm ready smile. to go now. Anyone wants to accompany me? I was, I yeah. I think we're leaving, actually, to go there. Yeah. It's, 
it's actually getting pretty late, guys. It's, uh... The camp will still be there in the morning. Unless it He's won't. Unless they hear that the attack was a failure and they, ma they make scars. Uh... I mean, we can always we can go check on the camp, and if it's still there, I guess we take watches as we we'll see. Scout it. See what we see. Yeah, mm -hmm. scout it. Very least. He watches. The mayor seemed to shoot a look over towards Becklin. And she kind of nods. <laughs> This raven kind of looks over at you. Um, I'll, I'll send a friend with you. Um, Becklin will go and make sure he's sorted. Um, I suppose it'd be nice for him to get some field experience if he's going to take over Becklin's place once she retires. <laughs> Does back you know? Yeah. But who is he, who are they talking about? Barrett, I think. Barrett. Yes, yeah, in the squire. <laughs> I don't think the squire is in line for command here, but send the squire. <laughs> you should kind of back when kind of looks at you there, Renard. He's he's eager. However, he's green. Ah. I, I would appreciate it if you take him under your wing on this one, please. Um, he supported himself very well on the battlefield, though. Yeah, he split uh, up in half. <laughs> at least I think "supported" is the right word. Yes, great in combat. Um, very eager for combat doesn't mm. understand that most military jobs are not combat yeah heavy. whilst whilst the fighting is something that a lot of militaries do end up doing it's not the bulk of the job and I understand that. this would be it could be fruitless but if not, it's nice for him to see that. I'll be glad to provide him guidance and direction and watch over him. Thank you. He should move. I just want better. I'm like some of you. I'm prepared to give him that. guidance, literally. <laughs> yes. Thank you. You stand in the room. Raven, it takes a look. Report anything you find, please. Uh, it's necessary and, well, required. And we will try and maintain the situation as best we can. Do you require anything before we go? I just need to get my horse. And so be it, I will... I will ready the gates for yourselves. Do be careful. <laughs> what do I currently have? I think it's a short... Does anyone wish to resolve anything or do anything before we move forward? Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yeah? I'm looking at my spell list. Yeah? Uh -huh. Let's see that I have Hunter's Mark prepared and it's also always prepared. So I have it like prepared twice. E right. Uh, that's your, your, so you've got that innately, so since you haven't used Hunter's Mark, I'll let you unprepare it from green and prepare something else in its place. Okay. 
That's what I was asking. I'm loving how you've got most of your spells twice here. <laughs> <laughs> all of like his really useful paladin spells that you use all the time. Hunter's Mark, Bane, Divine Smite. Just always prepared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oops. That's right, you. You're, you're okay. at Will's. Uh, for anyone who does have spells in their sheets now, you'll notice that they are completely different colours. Um... Updates, man. I don't like how some of them are red. Like, uh, the blues were fine. However, the at will reds and yellows, a shudder. But yeah. All right, I'm done. So, we'll see. Then it's use all head off. Hold up! They got nunchuck in D and D. Come on, guys. Oh, I thought my mic was muted. <laughs> Never mind. Did I hear nunchucks? They That's actually do I... have nunchucks in D&D. Yeah, they have nunchucks in D&D? I want nunchucks. This man's really playing <laughs> into that fucking Bruce Lee archetype. No, what do you mean the Bruce Lee? You'd be lucky to be Bruce Lee. He's more like Michelangelo. <laughs> <laughs> the turtle, not the artist. Get, get, uh, I'm just gonna get a staff and be Donatello instead. Where's Lever? Oh, never mind. That's that's. Uh, I didn't intend that. <laughs> this is all. You say you know, is it the last dragon? No, not the last. Dragon. Be a favorite. Can you look up if there's a stat block for nunchucks in here? Oh my god! Please tell me there's nunchucks. I want to buy a pair. <laughs> Nunchucks 5e equipment on D&D Wiki under the 5e homebrew section, however... Um, oh, it's homebrew. Never mind. 1d4 bludgeoning, light, or finesse. Oh. It's only 1d4? My fists do that. You, you're... Alright, you can literally replace... The attack and damage die of any martial of any monk weapon you're using with your own with your martial arts die. Mm -hmm. However, with it, the nunchucks wouldn't change anything. Correct. Because they'd be stuck to bludgeoning as you are. I believe we went through it with your sheet. Um, I think come like fifth level or something, you can just change your damage type of your fists to like piercing or slashing no it's it's elemental damage so lightning and fire and i can do that right now yeah so fuck bludgeoning or slashing just 1d4 fire damage ta -ha. <laughs> 1d4 thunder damage you flash bang them <laughs> yeah just head on out into town up through the gates the Time you spend on the road. It's not a lot. After so long, you find a small wooded area. Maybe about an hour outside the village. As you do, uh, Morales, could you make a survival check for me? Yeah. <coughs> Thanks. This is our uh, ranger, everyone. It's our ranger. Yep. Hey, guys. <laughs> I mean, the plus three's there. Yeah. You just, as you look around, you can't quite seem to ascertain too much. There are muddied boot prints and such around. <laughs> And as you do follow them for the most part, often getting lost in the vast arrays and amounts of them. Eventually, these tracks soon stop being boot prints, start also having sort of three and four claws. Almost as if you went from tracking 
a, from tracking a human to tracking a beast. Well, uh, I don't exactly like, like that. Like a half ogre sized? Close. Like a dragon. Yeah, like a dragon that we saw tear men apart. Mm. Oh. Mm. I call it a dragon, but it's not a dragon. Eventually, More like these dragon folk. Eventually, these woods get chase into a more rugged, hilly area. Soon, you notice off in the distance a rather large orange glow. As you take a little look around, can I have a grip stealth check, please? Yes, sir. <laughs> Sure, why not? Health check. It's most going to do a four, and I'm supposed to have full health, but I don't, so we're going to do this. Manually do it. Them's the rules. Oh, I had a Love scale mail. Love scale mail. <laughs> See, I got a 19, a 17, an 8, a 22. There's the ranger we all know and love. And just waiting on our monk. 13. Nice. I did well, except it was a disadvantage and I had to take that lower one. Last number there was a 13. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. Nice. I have a breath y'all, attack. Y'all got over 70 before taking off the numbers. Yep. And as I check... Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. She's slowly make way through it. On the horizon, on the other end, you can see a faintly orange glow from one side. She's are now in this wooded area. What would you like to do? Hmm. Hmm. Mostly passively as well. Some of you can. Some of you can hear low noises of what sound like an amassed group. We're not talking ten or twenty. There's a cliff here, correct? There is a cliff, yeah. yeah. So until you're at the edge of the cliff, you don't see what's on the other edge of the cliff. Okay, I'm gonna go duck between the trees. As you do, you notice to the northeast a patrol, a humanoid man. What? Well, I say a humanoid man, a human of all things, uh, for all you interested. Uh, looks like he's about one step away from screaming freedom. <laughs> Seems to be walking. And he does. You see hooded figures behind him. It's a man, William. They walk. And you watch as these hooded figures as they move. They seem to <coughs> sink into the ground more so than the human man. They seem to be heavier than him. Then, as you start to draw near the edge, you notice dotted as far as the eye can see tents and small fires. Hmm. I don't like the draw. An army gathering? Looks like it. Bernard, as you step forth a little, taking care of where you are moving. Hudge. You notice, you, you, you're on a map and you're standing nowhere next to him. You can, you can nudge him all you want, but he's not going to feel it. <laughs> he's just 
walk. You notice this group almost scouring and on patrol. As you grow closer to the edge. These illuminating lights seem to be getting thicker. The sound of talking and murmuring is getting louder and louder. As you get to the edge, thousands of shadowy figures. Many hooded, some unhooded, what seem like wings your height from what you can see though. You can't quite make out what's going on. You don't quite know 100% what that is. What you can tell is standing about 50 foot below you, as far as the eye can see in this dark, deep wilderness, less than a mile from Vogler. Actually, just about over a mile from Vogler. An army is camped out. Not one of these. This army, all dressed the same. Not like cudgel. Um, this sucks. <clears throat> Do you watch this? Small regiments seem to walk in and out of it. People giving appropriate military ranking attention to certain individuals. Small training encampments off on one side, living quarters and mess quarters on the other. This is a well regimented, well set military. A significant force that has clearly been here for some time. We should, we should make our way back to Volkler. We can't do anything about it right now. Hey, I believe you are. Oh, can I get an idea of the numbers? A lot. Thousands. Uh, we will use the word thousands, the book uses the word significant military force so i would then also says thousands of soldiers occupy so yeah there is there is potential of a full-scale invasion from what you can see everything you've heard from that man tied in that room seems to be ringing true Need to hurry so maybe we can evacuate the city if they're planning to attack the city. The town, I mean. Or anywhere else. We need to we need to warn them. Yeah, you are correct. We do need to warn them. Fudge. Jeez. Are looking over this particular ledge. Can you just make a group self check again for me? Oh shoot. Okay, oh, I'm that... not I'm I'm gonna touch Barrel as to help him. It's already made the roll. Guidance before um, the roll. Okay, okay, sorry. So right, let's see, uh, what are my numbers? Uh, so I got a 22 from Exodus, followed by a 9 from Boralus. I want to look at roughly the same average, 16, 14, 17. And if I just quickly punch that into a calculator, plus 9, plus 16, plus 14 plus 17 is on average sorry take away five let's say divided by five on average that was the exact same roll <laughs> <laughs> Look, he watches the patrol. <coughs> Garner's 
dangerously close. And see do you watch as they all seem to make their way deeper into the forest, obscuring themselves and ultimately obscuring yourselves further from their sight. However, as you watch as some of them do seem to glance over in your direction, they never seem to acknowledge your presence just enough. Either didn't see us or they're arrogant enough to think that we're insignificant. Uh, <laughs> Not worth the trouble. We I'm need to go. Them. We need can to I, go. Can I inside check the patrol? Yeah. Alright. Me... I'll say disadvantage because you're inside checking a large group of people in the dark. That is more than fair. Uh, you're getting a d4 as well there from Guidance. Uh, Sweet. I, let me roll the... Hmm. A 9. Not bad. And uh, then 1d4. Well, fuck. I did 3Ls. That's, oh, that's actively work. better, believe it or not, as you look. Yeah. Gauging what's going on. These guys... Probably the worst people you could have put on a guard duty. They are not perceptive. They seem to be in their own little conversations. For the most part, they are just looking round, glancing and scanning. It just so happens they glanced in your direction and you happen to be shadowy enough that they didn't notice. Okay, now we need to go. Yeah, he was um, Are they speaking common or another language? Uh, do the Draconians speak common? They do. Yeah. Also, they are speaking Dra Draconic, I would say. Just an air of anonymity and shadowy. However, they are. They are not even talking about the orders or anything. They seem to be essentially gossiping. It's like, did you see the game last week? <laughs> I, I mean, cannot I believe do, they cooked that. I do, I do speak Draconic, so uh, yeah, yeah, so do I. If it's just Garbo, I'd say grab one, but that would uh, alert them to our presence and we need force. to. We need to go. Yeah, we need to. Why are we trying to stand? grab one? We what are you doing, go? standing there? All right, let's get back to Vogler and reporting what we found. <laughs> Jalen, you sound like really quite far away and muffly. You all right there, my guy? Yeah, I think I'm fine. I think you've maybe changed your microphone or such. You're quite... I did. Ah, it's quite an open stage now as opposed to a more closed off set. Mm, I see. Uh, don't worry about moving the token in that regard there, Brass. It's just all slowly and surely start. Shifting your way backwards bit by bit. And you feel that you are safe enough. And as you do, you start your run. As you get back to where you were. Back on the main road. Uh, bear, uh, 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 Jalen, I'm hearing music in the background, my guy. Oh. Did it need to leave like that? <laughs> no, I, I, I was coming back to the stage. Ah, you're just changing the mic. It's when you lay, I'm like, aww. I didn't want to hurt you there. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. and you start making your way back to town, rushing, almost breaking pace, less than an hour later. I'm walking. Oh, no. The... <laughs> full, full sprinting, running, you know, horses, all that, less Holy than an hour. Took you about... Should be so it took 15 you about two... minutes. It took y'all about, yeah, I was going to make it, took us about two hours to find where you were and get to the place. Mm -hmm. Now that you know where you're going, and now that the news is, you know, a lot bigger, it's no longer a casual saunter, it's fucking book it. As you do. <coughs> an hour? It takes you less Maybe. than an hour to get back to Vogler. <laughs> okay. No, not to be argumentative. No, I, 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 I didn't quite get what you were asking. I'm sorry. 
I was just saying I was finding it. You said a little over a mile away. That's like a 20-minute walk. When you're not looking for something. Well, we're not looking for something. With, with, a bad, with, a bad, with a bad roll. Beep, beep, beep. With a bad roll, it took an <laughs> hour. Yep, no. Yeah. It takes you less than half an hour to get back to Vokla. All right. Speeding. This is due. Yes. Get back to town. Back to the brass crab. As you get there, you see Yalmi. For the most part, the place is empty, cleaned up. There's no sign of make, the mirror. We need, we need to make our way towards the, towards Captain Beckler, Beckland. Mm -hmm. Yes. We need to notify the, the yep. knight as well as the. Yeah. You'll we'll, we'll know exactly where the mayor is, as well. I would and assume. Fane and... takes the easier route, jumping from roof to roof. What's the easy route? <laughs> Fane Naruto <laughs> runs around the town. It's canon. Canon. We'll see then. It's, just... it's a simple fighting style. All you have to do is channel your chakra into your feet. <laughs> yes. Get back to the brass crab. Realize it. The mayor is not there. And so you head off to the little town, the little encampment at the top, the fort. As you do, you kind of bang on the door. Another hefty, heavy human door. As Becklin opens it. Yes. <coughs> He's uh, back very quick. He's a even the squire that I completely forgot to roleplay was there the entire time, got back really quick, and he hasn't said a word since. <laughs> you need to evacuate the town as quickly as possible. My dear, it's the middle of the night. Quick is not something there's an, do. There's an, an army of thousands waiting, just waiting to attack. I mean, cudgel has got forces, there's but they're not that big. We're not talking about cudgel. Yeah. Ask Barak to speak in the chambers immediately. We have more. We have much, much news to discuss. Melano is correct. There's a large force camped just west of town. With it, I just come in. Ushers you in and yes, sets you all down. With it, with what you say, there is firstly a, gr a great understanding that yes, the enemy, as you say, may be at the door. You know, they may already be marching. However, we cannot amass panic in the town. Well, I'm just letting you know that there's a large force. I mean, there well, is going to be panic in the town anyway when they attack uh, without without the civilians being prepared or told about it. Yes, but do you really think now is the time to... Now is that? exactly the time to calmly evacuate the citizens in the night. No, they... They have a point. Inside the city, inside the homes, they can... The army can at least defend them. Right? Can it? What, if if what, everyone's moving... What does the town's... What's the, the number of the town's army? Uh, can they defend against thousands of those creatures? That can, that can probably fly. Creatures? What? There were creatures with wings. She watches. 
a confusion on her face. Immediately and I'm going to, to and, and I'm going to use and I'm going to use minor illusion. You watch as to the, show her the army as and the you creatures. watch as her face turns from confusion to an almost sullen understanding. You then cast minor illusion. Okay. As you watch. As she looks at it. <sighs> I really wish they'd been rumours. I... I wish they'd been rumours. And after I show she sees the creature with wings, I'm going to pan out the illusion to to make her see how big of an army we were we see we saw, if it's possible. I mm, an image of an object such as a chair. No more than a five. Da, 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 da. Mm. I think she would get the idea. But so you wouldn't be able yeah. to do that through the powers of minor illusion. However, just by from her face, she is very much aware of you know what could be there she looks the town as you say is maybe maybe not fully equipped however understand and this goes for all of you now we currently only have one way in and two ways out we can try and evacuate the townsfolk right now we could we however need to get every boat in the town ready and if there's not enough boats we somehow need to get more in that time everyone will be on the docks and if the town is attacked, there is no town. You're just gonna look to yourself. No. Can you send word to Calabar to send boats over to assist in the evacuation? It's close. We can, yes, but that would take time. And as you would know yourself, what good is a town with no resident people? Eventually, it becomes a name. We simply need to alert the mayor, which we'll do in the morning. I will work on a plan tonight. Derek will help. I recommend you weigh your options as it is right now and we can all pick up everything early in the mornings but what if there's no time then that is what we call a calculated risk there is no time to evacuate everyone in the city there is no time to evacuate even one fifth of the town so therefore you would risk not you would risk four fifths of the town to evacuate one fifth when in one day we could have enough to remove half of the town therefore saving more lives on the precipice that they may attack may the operative word here they might not attack or they might attack either way the chance to save more people is better than the chance to save no people. Yeah, I get that. It appears the approach to the town is a is only to the gate, small choke point. Is that correct? No other approach. Unless they come down the cliffs, but to come down the cliffs. If they do so have functional wings, um, 
that's a 50 foot glide and you know they're moving so moving targets we could hit that uh they could come through the gates we would be able to send a large regiment around the outskirts of the town meanwhile everyone else is down by the docks <sighs> it would require a bit more military precision thinking and we would need to know our provisions unfortunately the only person with that list of provisions and things that can be done is the mayor so she would need to give us an idea of the town's readiness for an invasion well we need to get the mayor here i will be happy to, pr to assist in any way with planning and she knows that you are out tonight she does not know you're back we will send word until then you have done you. more than anyone would ever have asked anyone else we need to get cudgel ironside here as well to coordinate with her forces take rest tonight rest on your laurels you have done more than you would ever need to do however a state of readiness it would also be necessary for yourselves. You have seen what you have seen and pass this on. And I will pass on what I can. Just rest tonight. We will fully strategize in the morning. The night is yours, but... I'm just going to watch she looks the morning there is a very <laughs> there's a very fun chance that tomorrow we will not be preparing to continue the festival but preparing for war your rooms at the iron crab have still been paid for however so um, don't use the top broom, but do go ahead and enjoy your nights of drinking, eating. There's a lot we need to do. All right, All thank right. you. I'm going to stay at the uh, keep again. In case you are needed or... Also, so, with that one room being short, we're even more crowded at the, the, the crusty crab. <laughs> <laughs> the brass crab. I'll stay at the keep. Uh, can canonically, it's now the crusty crab. <laughs> Yeah, um... Melino will approach Macklin and say, "I apologize if I sounded rude, if I if I or if I was panicking too much, but I have way too much personal experience with the loss of a town and being a survivor, and I don't want what happened to me to happen to all of you either." Maybe we can potentially get forces from Calaman. Don't worry. But it's it's going to take some time. We currently have a band of mercenaries who will fight for the town. No questions asked. They have us. And hopefully they have you. What the character Calaman is where? Cross a few few days few days across the river and to the southeast. 
And where is the trebuchet aimed? And how far does it reach? Can it reach Caliban? It's a few days away. Okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <coughs> Never mind. Ignore me. That's a, that's a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. No, I thought we could send a message or something to let them let Calamon know to be prepared just in case they are also attacked. Like just Carrier send a pigeon. Okay, then then do that. Sorry. <laughs> just a message in a bottle and a catapult, and just hoping it doesn't get knocked off course. Sorry. Fine, don't worry. Sorry. <laughs> Some Bad poor idea. random unsuspecting seagull gets fucking melted by a glass bottle. <laughs> that is cruel. Where's the alien? Yeah, um. Let's use. Is, is everyone doing anything else in that term? Uh, sleeping, meditating. Drinking and eating. Okay, man. Let's use our all drinking and eating, I would say. You know, for, for most of the night, I'd say for, for the night, maybe remove, uh, let's say, a silver for all your food and drink. For yourself, uh, Renard. What do you mean, sir? I am eating... What is it? My rations. There we go. Are you drinking? Of course not. That, 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 was, that, that was me, Exodus, who said that. <laughs> not, you always I... do this, Scottish. God damn. A monk? Drink? Who does that? He's gonna forget that he was drinking that like nine morning yesterday. If I, I don't bro. eat, do I get any deficiencies like. Uh, or something. If you don't eat, you if you don't eat yeah. during a long rest, you don't technically get a long rest. And if you don't eat for like two long rests, then you would take a point of exhaustion. Yes. I don't. I don't need to sleep anyway, so or at least I can finish a longer in four hours. All y'all at Eladrin can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking I'll probably. I'll else. probably sit at the pier and just stare out at the sea. Um, he's going to go into his room. Maybe nibble on some nuts as a light snack or something if I do get hungry. So I doubt I will because I don't have the appetite right now for it. I heard someone else say they were doing something. Okay. Yeah, he's going to go in his room. Sit in his bed. Baralis, you done anything? Um, I'm just gonna go to the watchtower. Can I climb to the top of the watchtower and just sit and keep an eye on things? Yeah, yeah. If you didn't leave, you go up. As you do go up, you see a rather large catapult contraption. <laughs> as you kind of walk around the edges and such, you know, looking round. You can see off into the distance for quite some time. For the most part, it is quiet, quaint, peaceful. Where are you are? Setting, making your plans. She watches. Becklin kind of looks at Darrett. Kind of just motions for him to leave. She does. She sits. She places her hand on your arm. I should apologize. When you came to me the other day, I dismissed your claims. For I, I wanted it all to be rumors. Not so much the gods, by all, by all means at this point. 
We could take all the help we could get, but about your strange creatures and war, I wrote to the Council of Maegloth a while ago requesting some help, and I have yet to have any word back. She's gonna hand you a lot of small scrolled up letter. I'm still waiting for them to get back to me, but I don't know how many other people have sent word, asked for aid, have gotten anything. It's a shot in the dark. But I still still lied to you in that regard <laughs> and tried to dismiss your claims when I should have been more forefront with you to begin with. Well, it's quite understandable to wish to not believe something so catastrophic is about to occur. I was on our, the foot of our doorstep. It's getting to that point. I would say we should take this time, gather our thoughts. These rumors of the armies in the east and now an army close to home. I expect the worst. But I don't want to panic anyone. We need us, the knights, need to show solidarity today and tomorrow. It's, it's how we will win the people over again. But also, if you and I are on the same page. Maybe you're... I don't want to say friends, but... The friends may listen. And... On the precipice of potential war, level heads should prevail. Cudgel may take on all the guilt. And the mayor will try to keep the peace. So we we need to we need to be the voice of reason. Yes, if war is upon us, we certainly are in a position to provide counsel at the very least, leadership at the most and help these people whatever way possible. She's gonna look as she nods her head and smiles. Then here's to a better tomorrow. So we kinda overview on the town as it were. Morales walking the battlement, looking out of the town, not much going on in as you are doing what you were doing, I forget, I'm sorry, I think you were meditating, Exodus. Hey, and yes, he I mean, was meditating in his work. Exodus, drinking, enjoying it solemn, quiet time to himself. Now and all, sitting on the old, broken artisanal bridge, staring off down river. For yourselves, eventually, the birds chirping turns to crickets creaking. Over the course of the next few hours, you watch as 
many lights and houses and the town seems to blow out. Even guards seem to fall asleep. I pressed it. Unaware pressed of it. the green area. Unaware of what lurks on the outside of the town. Anyone do anything else for the rest of the night? Or did you all retire back to the brass crab or your sleeping lodges? I'm going to try to get a good night's sleep so that I prepare for the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Just, um, yep. enjoying the try. calm before the storm. Well, yeah. um, Fane is just trying to get used to this little key in his body. Then, um, if you would benefit from it from any way, mark it off, long rest, new day. We haven't done anything since we leveled up. No one should get anything from that. As. I feel like we changed this damn music. Did we get anything sure. nicer? The Carnival no. Dark Circus Mirage. Link Street. Did I have used Mirage no. before, right? No, it's scary. Stop. Yeah, Mirage. Oh. Nice. Quiet. Probably has, has voice in the video. Huh. Yeah, um, be honest, just prefer, uh, Discord. The easier. Easier. As use all the week in the morning, passing down on through, Renard, Darrett, Becklin, Boralis, did you sleep at the Brass Crab or did you take I lodging? Take that, how much, how many hours of sleep do I need? You are a Aladrum as well, so you only need, I believe it's four as part of your trance. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah just... so. Yeah, I just stayed up in the watchtower. Why did everybody just decide to be Aladrum? Because I said high elves and y'all were like, oh yeah, high elf. <laughs> I've got so many fucking elves here, man. It's like playing Lord of the Rings. And man, I'm not even from the same planet. <laughs> However, in the morning, let's use all awake and arise. Baralis, Becklin, Darit, and Renard walking to the brass crab. In town, solemnly at buzz. People going about their day with urgency and almost a bit more caginess than usual. As you enter the brass crab, who else is currently awake and in the tap room? I am. I'm here for the celebration. Must come here. Okay. Fane, what did you pull a D4 for? His, uh, his season. Uh, oh, you can just pick that. You don't need to roll it. You can just go, today I feel this. Okay, really? Just remember the one you pick. Um, and when it, if it comes to combat. What is it you picked out of curiosity? And I'll write it down so I know as well, Kiss. Today was cheerful, uh, spring. Yesterday was summer. Does it, uh, does it affect my... My face, like, thing? Your what? What is it called? I have Step of the Wind? No. Where is it? Oh, fine, so Wait. Is, is anyone else awake in the tap room? Uh, what what time is, um... it? is it early or night? Uh, I would say it's around 8 a.m. Oh yeah, I'd be up by then. 
Isis would be up by then. These are all in there. For the time, there is I still. You see. <clears throat> you see the mayor in the town. The mayor of the town there, rather. And she waits. As she does, you watch coming in from the back. I realise I saw a fucking mourners in the back. <laughs> you watch coming in from the back of the building. After a short period of time. Comes Pudgeo. A rather strange looking man. Requested. I've got a portrait of the man here for you as well. Dum 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 ba da. It's a scraggly bald man, almost wandering pilgrim looking up throat. As he's all arrive. The mayor mm -hmm. looks. So uh what did you find? Who's this shady mark? He's with me. Pretty loud, to to speak to the mayor. Hmm? <laughs> Pretty loud, Macklin, to speak to the mayor since they're we pass on what we gave told Becklin, or do we need to tell her ourselves? Your choice. You just can tell her. You can let it pass on. Becklin has the relationship with her, so... Yeah, he just watches... Becklin... looks at her. To the... east... the west, sorry, the west of the... town, and further west of... the camp, lies... another... Yes, yes, go on, go on. They say a military camp. Okay. Soldiers mixed humanoids and other scaly winged beasts they seem to be organized and they're only a mile or so out of town ah she watches her face seems to almost turn to dread as it does she kind of looks. We couldn't. We, there's not enough of us, of you, of the the iron clay. There's not enough to withstand an invasion. There's. I. I could dr draft a letter, perhaps, and say. That we could, we would be happy to house. I, it's been a watch. She's starting to spiral at this realization that one wrong move and the town is removed from the map. I'll gently put my hand on her arm, like letting her know that I'm here. Calming her down, maybe. Do you watch? I just write, 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 write a letter. That letter will say that, you know, we can, we can maybe have them come in and, you know, meet with us. And we can stop any tensions. Kajo seems to look. 
well, for what's left of the townsfolk um, and the Iron uh, Iron Regiment, Iron said we. Sorry, this is Jev, and he is now my new lieutenant. He and the rest of the troops are loyal to me, from what I gather. We did heard of the events and already had restrained several people. And, well, we've, they've also come across the large military force to the northwest of the village here. It's too large and organized to be a mercenary band. And they seem to be, as you have put it, Dragonoid and um, humanoids. We we need to have. We need to do something now. This. It's gonna walks over. So he watches JF. Yeah, takes a seat down. And smokes his pipe. It's because you're going to walk up to the mayor, and she does, going to place a hand on her shoulder and looks her deep in the eye. You have the full support of what is left of the regiment. We need to find a way to get this sorted as soon as possible. Does anyone have any ideas what we could do? Is we he trying open to are they trying to are they trying to protect the town instead? I'm sorry I'm sorry I didn't really trying, fully get the gist. Trying to protect the town or the town's folk. Trying to make sure that nothing bad comes to anyone. Mm. Towns can, I see can the... be rebuilt. People can't. Mm -hmm. And from, from what it seems, the people here aren't really... How do you say? Uh, fighters? At all. So having them even try to push back a trained army is not a useful idea. Something has to be done. Uh, how did the, the ship plan go? Were we able to secure any ships? We've sent words, but it could be late, early evening, late night at the earliest before we hear anything. And as, you know, as it goes, <sighs> we may not be the only ones as there are rumors of what's going on as, as she is talking you hear the door just there's this rather round rotund man <clears throat> seems to walk into the room as he does he looks talk of the town and i'm not invited what's going oh, no. on he looks like tarion <laughs> this Rather hefty man walks in. I want that He's sort. Having some conversation about the future of the town, and I'm not invited. Damn Who you, Rosie, in here. Who is this man? Oh, please forgive myself. I am. He's wearing a lot of purple, so he must be important. I am Lord Barakas with his side. The senior. At your service, sir. 
he watches. He glares and smiles. And you can tell behind this smile is spite. Mm. This man is loathing that you use not here before him. Christ, oh, seeing you. Seeing oh, that we, uh, Do you have his sword drawn like in the picture or no? Lord no. Arrakis of Uth Estate. That's that one you know, guy's father, that right? Name, right? With your son, yeah. I assume. Did I quite catch that, mate, once again? So I heard that name talking to him. I heard that name the other night. Well, your son, I assume, was here during the memorial to our lost friend. I didn't recognize it at first, but now I thought upon it. I do. Well, well, so well, coward, yes. Aren't you the coward <laughs> who fled Estwild after your son murdered the Lord over a woman? It's to nonsense. come here and pretend to own this town? That's nonsense in any way. We're here discussing the future of the town, not any rumours that you may have heard. Who is this man anyway? Who does he think he is? Talking to me. He's gonna watch his... Even the mayor. I think you have more mayor Even the mayor And you need to leave. It's like... Mm -hmm. yeah, this town has a... has a mayor. It doesn't make sense for it to have a lot. I am... Royalty in this town and any discussion on the town's futures. Well, I feel I should be inclined to weigh in. Uh, so he's royalty as much as uh, Queen Elizabeth was a royalty. She watches. <laughs> Raven seems to this. I turn to the mayor and Becklin. And they give him a look like, You want me to toss him out? And it's gonna, gonna look and begrudgingly make their heads in a almost no fashion. It's gonna look. So, what are we discussing anyway? Renovations for the old gate, fixing the old bridge? Can Melly know, like, she was next to the mayor? Can she? walk like behind her like in support but silently um it's somatic cast shape water under him and freeze it so that he falls over <laughs> on his ass uh yeah okay i think that's gonna have like a set dc to your spell dc however if you're wanting it to do that you see so, yeah, it'd be a case of him DCing, so you, you roll that and I'll roll against your spell DC as a dexterity save for him to slip. Your DC. Uh, yeah? Um, it's 14. 14. Exus would mutter under his breath, we would have you weigh in, but you would break the scale. <laughs> Savage. He's gonna watch yes, this. Him. That should most definitely count as vicious mockery. <laughs> she watches. You, know, you see this, and it does the ice under his feet. He's gonna, he's gonna grabs the bar and falls. That's not very nice, is it? Well, remember that from you. Lot. He's gonna brings himself up to the bar, uneasy. As he looks. Now, what are we discussing, please? Nothing important. No. What do I feel like you already know? Because I like my suspicions to be confirmed. And I believe we're talking about... Ah... Uh, group. I'm going to point towards Cudgel. And their actions the other night there. Uh, you would be very incorrect. The, kind of, the mirror and such like. There's potential for the town to be attacked because her 
group, the people who keep you safe, some of them were paid off. And as a result, they tried a coup. So now we have to, you're gonna watch, you're gonna place it up. Well, invite them in. Let's see who our new neighbors are and broker some form of peace. Is After he all, working with, like, is this like trying check. to? Yeah, exactly. He's gonna up himself. He's got a attitude about him in that regard, an air of false importance, false false importance, rather. Okay. As for his actions and why he's saying this, hard to ascertain. He's gonna looks. We should avoid war wherever possible. I mean, <coughs> I'd rather not be in a fight and well let's be honest if there's two military camps outside of a quaint little town he's gonna watch his eyes thin as he looks at cudgel why not weigh up which one is better to keep around so far we only have one group who's actually killed a uh, common folk. This other one are just camping. I walk towards him, like into his face and stare at him. You would invite thousands of weird dragon-like creatures to this town what? just to Th prove your importance. Not thousands. There Just... are thousands. I was there. I saw them. I'm not going to invite thousands in. One or two. If a you, small if delegacy. If you invite one, you invite all of them. He kind of looks at you. Why don't you let the important people do the talking? We invite three, maybe four. Seeing as the important people were invited to this meeting and you weren't, makes me think that you aren't that important. Da, da, da. Lord, Lord, can I point themselves? Princess, which is higher than a lord. To where? To be fair, the, our people did suggest a, a small meeting with the group before he arrived. Oh, level-headed people. Is it you just don't like me? <sighs> this man, clearly a man of astute honor. He's gonna point towards yourself, Exodus. He understands a small delegacy is not a thousand, but maybe four. An equal amount, equal to, say, your military leaders and... The mayor, myself, we all sit down, discuss things, hash things out. And then maybe pick up a minute. I don't think they're willing to, I don't think they're going to listen. Have you spoken to them directly? Not really, then but we, shut fought up. The, we, we, we fought them when they attacked the high heel. Then shut up. You fought her people points once more to cudgel if you say you have all manner of weird things again those were her people you fought so how many of us here are for inviting them in as he raises his hand he watches the mirror through seethed teeth some somebody uh, cast presidential rotation to make cricket noises, please. The mayor raises her hand as well. Uh, we could start minutes. peace talks at least. Exodus raises his hand. War is not an option. The town can take people. It's cudgel kind of looks. It's just because a few people 
seemed to start something off doesn't mean that all of my people would betray the town. The town has the people's full support and the mayor has my support. You, however, only through third party have my support as the mayor thought of it first. And he looks round, sneering at her, however, still has a sense of accomplishment to him. She watches. The man in the back, Javev, looks um, all for taking the fight to them. It's what I'm paid to do. The room seems tense. <laughs> and you also take a quick one, so I have. Mm -hmm. And then. Mm -hmm. And then I have. Uh... If I ever refer to someone as fatty, just assume I'm referring to this guy here. Okay. <laughs> that's what I've written him down as. Fatty. <laughs> uh, dun 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 dun. There was. What? That, 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 and then. Hail Breaker. Uh, mm. As you watch. Or not. As Becklin seems to walk to the other end of the bar, kind of motions to yourself. To whom? To Renard. Ah. Uh. Alright, a little bit of water. She kind of looks. What's, um. What's your feeling on this? You've had first-hand experience with these creatures. No, I don't think that what I encounter I had would be counted as first-hand experience. I've witnessed them. I don't know their capabilities. I don't know who the leader of the encampment is. Being a mix of these creatures and humans. I worry that inviting them in will be lead to bad tidings, bad things. Are you suggesting we side with tall, ginger, and handsome back there, or the mayor? Or do you foresee a third option on the table? I think that it might buy us time to invite a representative from the encampment to speak. I think I would have it outside the walls. Perhaps get a handle on their intentions. Okay. He's on watches. Becklin looks and raises her hand. Send the letter. There may be no better way to do things. There may also be a better way, but the Order of the Crown says send the letter. Are there any other objections from anyone else? Any other counterpoints? Any third options that anyone else seems to have at this moment? 
I am back. Um, real quick, what about right? about the people? <laughs> the town. Uh. Tough for you. Um. I remember in our previous session. Yeah. yeah. The the dragon creatures were marked with. The symbol of Takahisis? Yeah, don't worry, I struggle with that as well. <laughs> Ta yeah. Takahisis? <laughs> Given my religion is basically around the three gods, could I explain what? Could you tell me something about Takahisis? Um. Did you pass on that roll? I don't know, but it is my entire religion. Like the three of them? There's a bit more than three gods here, mate. I thought there was the three, uh... You're... You're... You've got my uh, gods of neutrality. You've got a neutral god of... Shania. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Completely... Messed that up mentally, sorry, my bad. So what do I know about the dragon god, or could I... I forgot if I made that check or not. I just write it down. I think that was information given to someone. I can't remember who that someone was on the religion check. Um, I would say uh, first and foremost here, uh, the name you're looking for is um, where's introduction? Takesis. So Takesis. Takesis. All right. Uh, I would say, I would say at most you know that the are the I'd say for the sake of it you know that the symbol on their armor is the symbol of Tikesis. Right, is Tikesis is bad? Good? I forgot. Very bad. Bad. No bueno. Very bad. No, no bueno. bueno. Um, Exodus would explain. He would say this. He would say actually on the first meeting we've had with these. Uh, creatures on the way here. They had a symbol of Takhesis on their armor. Uh, I don't know how much they're willing to uh, delegate, or not delegate, uh, communicate. But it's it's the only shot we have. The you as Beckham kind of looks. Whilst I understand your first your point, um, six nine. Here we go. Result. Uh, whilst I understand your points and what you're saying. No one really believes in the gods post cataclysm. It's a bygone memory. Most who worship the gods worship them for one reason or another, but not everyone, no one really has had a reply in quite some time. I mean, the the tracks that were the tracks that were found in the woods; those uh, were shifting from man to beast. Correct? He looked towards the group. The ranger, I think, was the one tracking. Yeah, Baralus. Baralus. He looked at Baralus. Is this correct? Yeah. Would it be talk? He sees has. Answered a prayer after all so long? We can't put stock in mere ancient symbols. Maybe you should. Well, if they're, if they're res resurging now after so much time has passed. But whilst I understand the irony in what I say is you look her armor adorned with an almost rose like pattern with crowns and swords the ancient designs of the Knights of Salamnia from before the cataclysm 
And she looks. It's been over 300 years since the gods took anything to do with the folly of man. For people to rally behind one god, it's, mm -hmm. well, it's not unheard of. Remember that... Just Becklin talking? Yeah. I can't really do women's stuff, man. I don't know if you've noticed this. <laughs> I, remind Becklin that, I remind her that I have encountered the gods, the old gods. They are here. They are waiting for us. Whilst to comply. And I remind her of the miracle I have performed after the battle. That should be enough to that's Let her enough. know that the gods are are waiting for us to listen. That's enough to spark maybe one god, yes. However, whilst what you did was no short spark of divine intervention, that is but one god, and I don't see you rallying an army around that god. If we recall that just because they use a symbol of evil does not mean necessarily they are evil. You don't have to go around killing puppies and killing pensioners, kicking babies to be evil. Everyone has a better side that we can, I suppose, appeal to. Whilst, yes, you yourself have, say, you have spoken with a god. It's perspective. And, frankly, I myself think that we should avoid war. If we find out what they want, we may have grounds to negotiate but we must also prepare for the worst what if they don't would they just want destruction if they just wanted destruction would we be having this conversation would we be here right now given they are so close to our border if they just wanted destruction would we not already be destroyed? Well, I think that the evidence that we gathered points to the fact that they want the city one way or the other, with or they're, without us. Me, they're probably they waiting for something. Fuck's sakes. If they want to... If the leaders of this town wish to talk to this invading force, I'd say that SCU we let them. I'm sorry, that wasn't, um, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't Faye making that laugh or a coughing noise. That was me. Don't worry, I know you're not sadistic like that. <laughs> mm. And, well, we just stopped, uh, the Lord and the Mayor from doing whatever they wish with their time. We can only advise. Yes, we can only advise and... Whilst this is not necessarily a voting thing, we are all, he kind of takes a step forward, advisors. And I was still go. I was still keeping up the spell. Yeah, but he <laughs> fell and he got up from it. It's okay. a five foot thing. He's moved five foot. Okay. He's gonna turn. Don't we all not want to live? Okay. Uh, Fane goes, well, looks like it's decided, and he's going to go get a drink. No, not before he steps on the So, no. you won't even discuss <laughs> evacuating the city? Evacuations can happen. Plans can be made, however, my dear. I we first must find to. what the enemy wants, right? 
Is that not the way? I would rather be prepared, over prepared, than not prepared at all. Would you evacuate people and remove them from their homes? If nothing but. Would you rather be sailed halfway down a river before you find out, oh, actually, big mistake. You can come back home now. I would prefer that if my people lived, but they didn't. So, yes. we were not prepared. Yes, well, we're in the process of preparing. It does not mean we need to send every man, woman and child down the river right now, whilst we're still looking at peace talks. The issue is, if we retreat now, or rather uh, Let evacuate... Let me finish your sentence the... for you. If we retreat now, it could give them the opportunity to push. Solidarity. We must lean on the mayor. You would nod. You would say, essentially, yes. We'd be calling with our pants down if, let's say, those wings do work and they could fly to the boats where oh. people are being escorted instead of fighting head on. Clearly, we need to garner, gather more information on these. What these creatures are. And let us. Yes, yes. Does anyone have any Ooh. parchments and ink? Ooh. Ooh. I should, uh, they should have parchment ink. Let me take a look. Let's see. Mm. Rope. A backpack. Bedroll. Tinderbox. No, he does not. Watch his cudgel places. I have ink and a diary, but I don't have paper. Watch cudgel places it down and the mayor starts to write upon it. After a brief few minutes, he kind of looks at it. He's gonna hold it up. He's hoping everything goes well. Come, we should at least get this stamped and be on our ways. Preparing for the worst, but hoping for the best. Do you watch this? Kajul, Jev, Becklin, the mayor leave. Start to walk out. It's Baracus, Bacarus, Bate. He seems to dust himself off and himself a almost a happy little you know shrug off as he seems to walk out i'm gonna cast um shape water underneath him again as he turns gonna, his back i'm gonna nudge i'm gonna nudge i'm trying to interrupt their casting if i can see this if i move to them uh are you trying to nudge the table to bump into them Different table. I'm seeing a little shape more as only hands. Uh, let's play. Let's let's play a contest on this one. Uh, you're doing that if he's trying to do it. So make a perception check to see. I was going to base it completely off of her spell DC. So DC 14 perception. You notice that she's doing it. You am I able to? Am I able to interrupt her? I would say since you see it, you're gonna nudge it. It kind of goes off a little. It's the car is turned round. Don't just wait up. 
Come. Let's see, walks out with the rest of us. But she walks out. What's the rest of us doing? Getting a drink. Ah, oh, great. I think oh, I've got that fucking issue again. Nice. There we go. Even on a new thing, it's still like, oh yeah, nope. Just realised that people aren't in squares. There we go. Who follows? Who's doing what? Let me know. Uh, if we're if we're supposed to be following, yeah, I'm you, gonna follow. You can follow if you like. You can do other things. No, I've just I missed the very end, or I kind of just the talking. I just sort of didn't catch it. What? Where are we following to? Uh, they are going to get the letter signed. Well, let's say like stamped, you know, to make it official looking. Uh -oh. And then they are gonna head on out. Yeah, I, you'd make sure you. Mayor Siegel. Hmm? You would check. Mayor Siegel. Sigil. Yeah. You'd check over his belongings before uh, following. We'll see. As you head on over, I believe this one here could be wrong. Let me get it up because I know the mayor's house is somewhere on here. But I think that's the wrong. Yeah, that's the wrong one. You kind of walk across the street to the mayor's home. So everyone watches and she kind of say it. Takes her wax ceiling and such, kind of presses down on it. She does. She kind of walks out looking. And she looks to yourself. Who, who has followed? I need to know now. Move towards the mayor if you have followed. Where the mayor is? The, the mayor here. The mayor, that's the mayor? Yep. The mayor's portrait has her with Yeah, if most of you are following, she's already knows going to follow as well, just silently. You watch as she stands there in the room. Well, um, yes. We all have our plans, so I will give this to yourselves. Kind of hands the letter off to your general direction. Um, you have my honor, I suppose. You's, I give you permission to act on my behalf in going to this camp and trying to figure something out between the commander, maybe, general, I don't know, um, and seeing what has transpired. What's the letter? Did you go to? So, you want to take the letter. You hear a action on the door. As it does, as Becklin seems to open it, a town guard stands. So, we we have visitors. See, mirror looks. What? What do you? They're at the gate, and they seek an audience with yourself at the gate. Now, do you look at this man's what? face? There's terror in this face. Well, it seems they beat us to it. We'd yes, if only to... your friend would have agreed earlier, but no, self-righteous one she was. Anyway, let's go, shall we, Mayor? 
to watch as Lord Baracus immediately starts walking out. Is he, how does he look now? Like, was this his plan all along? Was he working with them to get them inside? Insight check. He's relatively pumped. Like, he is excited. But not that type of excited. I suggest that he go first, just in case he's killed immediately. See, mirror looks. Uh, I guess we are... <sighs> Out of time? We'll see. Would you like us to stand by you? Yes, uh, United Front. We we should all go as a group. At this point, uh, use our fine additions to any military power that we have. And while well, some of you look a bit more threatening, then kind of gives herself the once over. Me? I look like I look like a princess who doesn't do any fight, who hasn't had a fight in her life. You look much more intimidating than I do at the moment. Why oh, so you're all... <laughs> uh, so you're hmm? I'm asking the mayor if she's firing us. Officially. <clears throat> yes, yes, I am I am essentially officially hiring you, subcontracting you to assist and advise wherever possible. Uh, consider yourself war council. Um, if we survive this, you're getting me a badge made. <sighs> you are getting me a badge made. I'll give you a house. He's rubbing his hands together. <laughs> he's like, game on. He's like, he's if he's like, he'll do everything in his power now to get a house. Just feel the room a buzz with the nervous energy. It's the mayor. So with the letter in hand, starts to walk out. Chest pumped, shoulders proud, trying to give off an air of confidence. I'm going to cast mage on armor on myself. Why not cast mage armor on me? I don't. I don't even have a shield. So just walk on up to the. Gates. So you do. Pardon me. Beneath the carvings of weeping fish etched into the open wooden gate, a human in black and red scale mail sits astride an armored warhorse. She holds out a rolled parchment, and as she does looks who amongst you speaks for this town you are no <laughs> I pointed the uh the mayor because I think the lord referred to her I I am half tempted to point to the to Lord Baracus just see if he was killed immediately <laughs> Mm -mm. He stands there. He, he's much as royalty as Queen, uh, Queen Elizabeth is or was. She can put in informed decisions to Parliament, but at the end of the day, they make the decisions. She watch as she sets there. Could I be hurt? Hmm? 
Can you hear me all right? I can hear you, yeah. Sometimes you seem a bit muffly, but I, I catch you in the end. I'm sorry. Yep. Uh, I had a cup to my face. Ah. She watches. The woman looks down. And she does. Unfurls a scroll of paper. She does. She looks. Uh, one free religion check going for anyone. Mm -mm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Taking it. 18. Nice. You denote. Well, you denote that on their chest is that same symbol that you saw. The symbol of the kisses. As you look and see this for a moment you don't quite hear what she says for everyone you hear people of Vogler by order of the Belefician voice of the Cassis you will quarter the soldiers of the invincible red dragon army this night as you as who have made the check of a 12, so everyone who made the check is just kind of chime back in. He's here. Only the tail end. Refuse and die. This is the Dragon Ooh. Queen's will. She watches, she rolls the paper back up. Places it in her pouch. And sits there atop her warhorns. She looks. Prepare to be occupied by the troops this evening. You may not leave the village. We shall be remaining and watching. Any questions? Do you require a hostage? No. We have the town. <laughs> Next stupid question. Oh, Is mayonnaise an instrument? I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck off. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I was feeling a bit vindictive, vindictive and stupid. <laughs> No, Exodus, mayonnaise is not an instrument. Well, I was... Fane's going to step forward and ask her, can she have her... Would, she, would I be talking to anybody of significant leadership, or am I just talking to a messenger, I ask her? She looks at you. And watches. He simply raises a hand, and before the hand is even fully extended, you just whoosh, at your foot. A singular arrow. Or she looks forward, leans in on the horse. Any other questions? He smiles. He says, "Yes, I have another." Step forward. Sorry. Sorry, I was supposed to go up up there, and he's and he's uh, says to her, "Will your soldiers, how do you say, behave themselves while they're in town?" She looks at you, and she looks back forward, almost seemingly ignoring your question. We're not. I step forward and say, Servants of the Dragon Queen are not welcome here. What is your purpose in this area? What is the purpose of your army? As she looks. Yeah. Sucks on our teeth a little. Looks down and round. The 
the most part. She doesn't seem to be struggling in any way not to answer. She just finds it also very easy not to answer. Do you look? The mayor's... Your army is welcome to stay in the encampment you've chosen already. You shall leave the people of this village alone. They have no desire to house an unwelcome army. As you watch as she looks at you. <clears throat> Make a perception check. My checks suck. Oh. They do? They don't suck don't enough so. as you watch as she says as you hear the rustling of trees from behind you. Yeah. And you kind of look upon the cliff. There are five men in full plate. Two of which with a javelin, two of which with longbows. And another one with a ballista. Oh. She ballista. looks looks down at you once more. Is that kind of a missile? Flattish? <laughs> <laughs> Whilst I see where you're going with this missile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it, it has never said the size of said missile. <laughs> this is akin to an oh. ICBM, and you're just like, no. Uh, I but... can just, like, move its momentum while it's in. The... That's smoke stuff. <laughs> she looks at I you. Just... She looks down. We'll do what we want. When we want. Whoa. She watches the mare. Her face blush. Almost all colour removed. Sorry, what I missed? This Becklin kind of... We... We understand. It's kind of... Slowly back and all. Kind of... Giving all of you a glance. Kind of... Nodding away. It's, yes, we... We shall... We shall take a leave and make appropriate accommodations. It's, even your good lord friend, Fatty, is kind of looking, sweat running down his brow. Hey, uh, my door's always open. Yes, yes. Mm. He watches. He is the first to turn his back and sprint down the yeah. street. You mean hobble down the street? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he can sprint. Gives it a college yep. try. Do we call no, 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 invading no, no, forces? No, no, no. Oh no, invading forces and now an earthquake? <laughs> no. <laughs> Did someone die? Had... The no one died. Threats were made. The town is being invaded. All right. No one's dead. All right. A few people yeah. came close. Mm. Is Becklin kind of looks, and you can see as she's kind of pulling the mare back, kind of giving you his nods, and her other hand is pulling, as if to beckon. However, upon closer inspection, and she is beckoning rather slowly and almost. Over all of your heads. We will ready some drinks at the the brass crab. Come, let's make our new guests feel welcome. See, 
whole time the mayor is stunned, stammering, stammering. She's going to be pulled. You watch as she's missing every second step on the cobbles. As Beckler, who should have been here the whole time, is... Is she trying to tell to tell us to, to run away? No. No, she just stunned. Cannot speak. No, Becklin, he, she was gesturing, like, weirdly. Over your heads, as in not towards you. Ah, okay. She's gonna... Towards me. Towards the tower. Mm. She pulls the mare and such down the street, the horse with the woman turns, starts slowly cantering towards the gate. And as it passes the threshold, she stops and waits by the gate. Anyone else wish to do anything? <laughs> That's what we really can do. Are we supposed to be following? I think you, we're you can, however, you, you also have, you know, free will. Right, no, but I, I felt like that's what you were, like, that's what we were supposed to be doing. So I guess, yeah, if everyone's following. If, like, the mayor and everyone is, then yeah, I would follow. I'm going to turn and go to the brass crab following Becklin. Not happy. Oh, yeah, we're brass crab, not the mayor. Let's use enter once more into the brass crab. The tone now. For every time you enter the Brass Crab, it seems to be more and more dire. The situation here is dire as it ever could have been. As the mayor sits there, stammering, stumbling, barely able to hold drink in her hand, Becklin looks. <sighs> it's. It's us. Now we know. He watches. The mayor manages to finally compose herself. We should do as they say. Well, welcome them in. As he watches, Becklin and Cudgel. Not necessarily. We. We have. Other concerns with occupying forces. The horrors that they could foresee on a town. It's not worth it. Does anyone have anything we could do? Does anyone have any suggestions right now? We here don't want them in the town. For we have seen the horrors of these occupying forces before in other wars and heard stories. However, one of you may have some greater insights. Uh, our options are few. We're watching to make sure we don't leave the town to the north through the gates. The only way to leave town is by water. They have ballistas on the cliff. They can just shoot the, the boats down, probably. I don't think they'll reach from the cliffs to the water. 
that was also wheeled in, so there's no guarantee that it would remain there. That was clearly a show of force to show that they are more prepared than they'd like us to believe. Why did you point to the tower? Darrett is in there. And so, if he did see what was going on, he'd know to come here at some point soon, maybe with provisions. He may still be in training, but he still has to be vigilant when watching. Maybe he should, instead of coming into town, go to other towns and warn them. The only way he's getting over those gates is the gnome flinger. And, well, you know, humans and gravity have this strange relationship where, you know, great heights make splats, so... There's no way he would really get past those gates, unless... I thought the tower was outside the gates? On the you, hill? You can get to the tower from inside as well. You just got to go up past Westside House. From there, there's a little path that'll take you up. Does everyone know that in, in the town? Yes. Fuck. Fudge, I mean. Everyone in there the town. Way out of town. Uh, there's... I mean, if the, if the enemy doesn't know that, maybe we could smuggle some people outside? Again, how? How would we get them out to begin with? I would say we try to ambush them during the night or poison them, but there's no guarantee anything like that would work. The American stance. We are on the precipice of being invaded. Attacking them is a declaration of war. I've given you authority to act on my behalf and advise, but starting a war? That's one step too far. It's a little better than letting them come into your town and do whatever they wish. This won't be a... Is, what did they say they, is Lord Barakas there? Or did he not come to the meeting? Well, he ran away. He ran away. He's probably, he's probably under his house, sipping wine right now. Drinking himself to stupor? stupor. Oh, no. I don't know what he usually does. What was that? Uh, was that, uh, Renat? And how large of a force does Kudril have? Mm -hmm. oh. Are you asking in character or in character? In character, asking her. So we we have a small a small battalion now. Um, there's definitely enough, there's enough that we could potentially defend the town um, since they're camped to the north. And we are also camped that way. I could... We could get to them, yeah. And from there, mount a defence. However, with it, they said no one leaves, but people entering... I mean, there's no... I'd, I'd see no issue with them entering, and I even then, we have... They should enter as well because then they wouldn't be allowed to leave either do you, do you, do you have yeah but okay 
do you have means of sending them a message without leaving town? Because mm. if you don't, then send up a bit of we a... won't be able to communicate I, with them. I can get to them in less than three hours. It's easy enough. Then but... instead of telling them to defend the town, tell them to go warn other towns. And leave the town to what defences? I mean, the enemy's already inside the walls. No, they're not. Ask Becklin how large the garrison of knights is. What do we have they, here? They said they will occupy us in the afternoon. You should get we, so we have, maybe we have time to at least evacuate the children and the women. If we send them out now, you'll need all the boats. You'll need a lot of the boats then, if just if it's just women and children. Hmm. The it's gonna look as back kind of looks. Uh, in terms of the garrison, um, do 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 you you know do you class yourself as? part of the garrison here? As a knight of the crown, I would be under your command at this point. Then, um, two-thirds of the garrison are currently in this room. <laughs> That's awesome. The main city guard they make up a small amount. The iron clads, they make up a decent amount. But if they have an army, regardless of how many they have, we are merely just making it that people can leave. Um, you could... You could climb the... Um, could climb the cliffs. It's it's a tough one. Um, regardless, I I'm I'm gonna get the the troops, and we are going to we are going to um, at least prepare for the fence. Um, we're still waiting on word from Calaman. Um, until then. Use could go ahead, try find some information, maybe see if there's any people willing to overcrowd their boats. Um, I I hope it's not too late if they are all if they are all air and land creatures we are fine but if they are if they are on water we are truly in trouble oh. evacuation is however a choice that we have so you seem to be greatly outnumbered and have a little hope of Resisting this force outside the walls. I don't see any other option but evacuation. May I? Yeah? Why don't we let them in? There's no point killing all these soldiers when we know they're far greater than us. Why don't we kill them from the inside out and try and get someone? me join them if they pay you we don't know their numbers i th think he's suggesting like... an inside man join their ranks and but they've and... seen him already they know he's with the mayor 
We were all standing next to her when that woman came. Cudgel kind of looks. Yes, and my men stood next to me at many a ceremonies and it didn't stop one from sticking a knife in my fucking back yesterday. Some people see what they perceive as the smarter option. And we are at a major disadvantage. There is intelligence that could be gained from this. However, it is also risky. As if he goes missing from their side, he may be hunted. Alternatively, he himself may be taken in as a prisoner and interrogated for information. It's... It's a 50... It's... It leaves us at an advantage and a disadvantage. The future is unclear with this one. It could go either way. However, the evacuation and preparing the town are the two things we should be looking at. Um, I can get my, my, my I can get my group to start preparing and start an evacuation quietly. Um, Becklin could potentially uh, send word to Calaman. Um, you could do that. Uh, you could scale the cliffs. Um, you could try. You could try a lot of things. Um, the gnome thrower. What's its reach? You. You'd need to ask its inventor. So, Than no one's seen from Than in a little bit, but he did create it. He could give us this the specifications. Um. Yeah, you. Yeah, you, I mean, it would definitely get you over the cliffs. Ah, uh, but that's, what, what do you plan to do after that? Just because we have these things. And, and like, I will... you're giving a good strat, you're giving a good shot here, yes, but this is military planning now. This isn't throw things at a wall and see what sticks. Explain your process. This might sound weird, but... How high are the cliffs over the town? 50 feet. So not high enough to cause an avalanche. You would... Yeah. You would... Sink the town? Yeah. When the enemy is inside, if we manage to evacuate enough people... We might they may kill they some may of the notice. enemy. And then they notice, hey, there's no people in this town. What happened to the people? Because it, whenever our army occupies the town, they took it over people's houses and stuff, and they live with the people in the town. It's not like there's enough rooms in the end for them. Did you just say that you'd wait until most of everyone had been evacuated before causing an avalanche? Because I don't... Just gonna we pass that by real quick. Um, Backlin said that there was not enough boats for everyone to evacuate. In two, how are we going to make <sighs> BRB toilet? How are we going to make an avalanche? Like I was thinking that if the gnome thrower has a big enough reach to hit the the cliffs, we could maybe cause the cliffs to collapse and cause an avalanche into the town. Probably not enough force. I think okay. that we should take a few moments and pray. I believe that their sighting of a god, this new 
Oh, the the resurfacing of Takis Taki Takisis and this the the emergence of Takihis. The the gods are in this land. Maybe maybe if we pray for a miracle and we get everyone in the town to believe, we could we could do something. That sounds almost like wishful thinking, like some divine intervention to save us. You really think after all this time, the gods would just do us a solid? 200 years to us seemed like a lot. To them, they might have just been gone for 30 minutes. Doesn't hurt to try. It, perhaps they're not as. You can try, but try convert a whole town to a religion in overnight, and I believe they call that a cult. Call what you will, but what we need is a miracle. As for your idea of the gnome slinger, um. It's situated atop a tower. What could we possibly throw at it? What could we possibly put on it to throw at a cliff to cause an avalanche? When there's nothing that we could get up to it that isn't on a minimum of two legs and can fit through a ladder shaft. You could potentially throw yourself. Then what over. did we? What did? What did you use it for? Throwing or people. What? Where? Places. Again, we didn't particularly. It was built by Than. Than then used it to throw people, gnome specifically, hence the name gnome flinger. He knows everything about it. I, we dare not touch it because, you know, that's essentially a trebuchet. And those are weapons of war. Mm. You could use the gnome flinger to get onto the cliffs and clear the cliff side however with that you it's a declaration of war yes unaware well, yes a declaration of war but you could also use it to get people out as long as the bodies are never discovered is it truly a declaration You want to Maybe. clear the town to get people out. We don't have time to do it by boat immediately. So you wait for more boats. You try find people with boats. Or we take actions into our own hands. Yep. Sorry, guys. I gotta go. No, that's right, man. Don't worry. Uh, We'll resolve this part, let you know what's going on, and call it there for the night anyway. Do you, okay. do you think we should talk to Than then? To just ask him about the Gnome Flinger? He has its inventor, so he would know all the information, and that information... I, I mean, again, humans have this great relationship with gravity where fall from a hard enough of a high enough height and that's the last time you fall in your life the domes are different then 
he may have something that counteracts it. Well, that's, I guess let's go talk to him. Or something. I have something that counteracts that. Does everyone have this thing? No, me as a monk. Then... I guess we could fling you with children and women, and you would assure them, but then how would you get back? And again, there are soldiers on the cliffs. <sighs> we can't win. It's only a decision of if you want to lose by in battle or give them the town. The decision is quite simple. Said, we either start a war. I'm sorry. We either start a war or wait for the war to come to us. There's no way about it. We either evacuate people and prepare to be invaded or we strike preemptively and still evacuate people. But we give ourselves more options. Either way. Can, can we use anything else as boats or as rafts? Apart from our main stuff here, you, you would have to speak with all the individual villagers. They would give you that in to, if they have a boat, they give you a boat, potentially, or they may be able to... In assist. other things, like like tables, or pieces of the dock, make made into a raft. The closest, Anything. The closest city is maybe about three days away. Um, I don't think someone wants to be sitting on a table for that length of time. However, if we put things together, we could potentially get it done in a timely manner, but again, speed. You would have to go around and check. I, I have to prepare for what's coming and I need to prepare my trips and I need to send words to Calaman and prepare Darrett and prepare everything else for we will be fighting on the front lines if it comes to blows. So it's on use. Each and every one of you has to speak someone build things fix things a plan an evacuation whilst we plan defenses given that there's you doing your thing and us doing our thing at separate ends of the cities at separate ends of the town we will have more luck in sorting things out We have haste on our side. We should use it. Yeah. I guess we should get through then. It's not help that we can get, correct? It's what? It's not help that we can get to bolster our numbers, correct? Uh, the Gaskin yes, character? Yeah, I said that character. We are waiting on Bod from Calaman um, as to whether they can send anything. Um, they have circle mages there who could get trips here. However, them sending us boats or parties, it's not likely they'll be here in time, but they may be able to pick up people found in the water for it. Mm. It's my my grip. Any soldiers, any 
Town's guard who feel brave enough. And Beckon. And that's it. Can you help me do Andy? How do we what? And so how many would that be? A couple of hundred, but that's enough to hold the front gates enough time to have the evacuation be underway. A couple hundred. It's a very thin gate with some men in the tower with bows and arrows out the small windows and many more. We can cut their numbers down and see them coming from quite some time. Now, what I know is that people have successfully defended towns before with very low numbers on their side as long as they hold a certain point. But can I can I see the map again of the town? I ask the uh, mayor if there's a map in here or does she have a map or can I thank you. Because you're going to unfurl her map. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I like this. Ah, uh, okay. Does this town have an alchemist? Ah. Uh... Yeah, that she should be an alchemist, yeah. An apothecary, if nothing else. Dragons are resistant. So, Thane's gonna take a pencil. And he's gonna say, The army is bound to come in from here, correct? Yes, they could come from there, but there is also the potential that they come from up here. And they jump down the cliff. Or fly or glide. Or you see flying flights. is also Flying is also a problem. My main my main idea was stage a hundred or so here at the gate to hold the line. And while we have some here and some here to do sort of, of a, uh, the mayor said we have a couple hundred people who are guards and mercenaries and whatnot but if they come from up here there's nothing we can do about that mm. well, that's mm -hmm. why we I mean... have people stationed here who could see out over and out in also, the enemy is already stationed up here watching us. Okay, so we have... They're already stationed over here? Ballistas, javelin throwers, and so on. We saw them on the cliffs. Do we know how many? We only saw five, but there could be more alternatively. You could... Mm -hmm. You could take a small boat out and climb out wide and then up and in and clear a path maybe we'll, C we'll, we'll call this plan A but we need a a way to deal with these people here the town is in a nice area for battle but this up here, this ridge, is no bueno. Maybe we can set the forest on fire? To possibly keep them out of that area? And force them into the we'd valley? Need to, we'd need to get up there with an accelerant. And we can come around the side here. So they won't see us with the ballistas up here. 
We could have somebody set the forest alight from here, and the file will spread across. They'll never know it was us. True, true, but at that point, their all semblance of stealth goes out the window. Goes goes out because you could kill any number there and simply drag their bodies to the end and dump them off. Whereas mm. everyone sees fire. fire. Mm. What, we, what we need is a deterrent from for them not to be up there and for them to use that valley. I was thinking some kind of poisonous gas or fire, like I said before. But we are dealing with dragonoid creatures here. So I'm not sure if fire would be the best solution. You may be able to get a scrolled wadding spell, but even then, <clears throat> there's no guarantee that the exact triggering would go off where needed. So you can we can it. put the we can put the trigger as beings with malicious intent towards the city. I don't think that's how. Uh, so yeah. Well, the the wording spell works. Glyph of all things. I'm sorry. I'm saying that as a player. I don't know it as a uh, character. I don't think glyph of I don't think glyph of thing works. I think like there are certain circumstances that need to be met, but mm -hmm. I think like yeah, you know, glyph of glyph of warding is if it meets this certain criteria, this happens. Yeah, but I don't think I don't, the, I don't think like the scroll or the spell itself or the glyph can feel miscontent. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's magic. Um, it's not sentient. So, what would be an accurate trigger for it to set off the people up there? If anybody steps up there at all? Because our soldiers wouldn't be up there. Mm. All, we need, all we need them to be is on this cliff over here, like I said before. And if we have an alchemist here, he can make alchemist fire and have you, our soldiers rain it down. You could just set so it, it as like a trip wire. However, again, fire is noticeable. A wire may not be noticeable if played slow enough, but fire, not wire. We are already Before past the point of subtlety, though. That's the thing. If they're mm. there ready to attack, then war has already started. That could be the, that'd be the thing. And with, we just need... With it, we no just guarantee. need... Right. No guarantee they step there, which could very well waste then the, the valley would be the only reason... The valley would be the only way to get some kind of advantage on them. And that was there aim. as well. The woman's there, yes. She's waiting there? Well, she didn't seem to leave when she passed the threshold. I mean, you could go ahead and kill her if you wished, but... We then... Ooh, they seem... Yeah, they seem like they have eyes on us. Not unless you, I don't know, maybe how far That's up true. is that? Is the uh, how far is up is the cliff from the valley? No, they're both feet. fifty feet. Oh, fifty feet. Yeah, let's say fifty feet, both on an even standing. Um, how much damage do you take per whatever you fall? 1d6 to a max. 1d6 for every 10 foot to a maximum of 20d6. Uh, so you'd be taking 5d6 damage, which I think at your level 5d6 
is 5d6 is actually six six fives is I think it's enough to actually kill you six fives no wouldn't kill you but definitely not kill unconscious if the rolls were bad that there almost kills you as it is mm. okay Hmm. Because, say, we had a hundred or so people on the side there, and we somehow forced them to use the valley, we could aim for the flying type enemies, while those below would be something like ogres, goblins, or whatever they have in the army. And we can just bathe them with, like, alchemist fire. But or whatever. I hate to bring this up, but like, is there an alchemist in the town that has alchemist fire? That's the first question I asked the mayor. Is there an alchemist? Any alchemist worth his salt should be able to make alchemist fire. Uh, there, there would potentially be someone, yes. Um, I could point him out, but I, I, again, whether he has any prepared, we we don't yeah. really get many adventuring types. We are a small fishing village, okay. so he may not have stock per se. Uh. Uh, would burning oil work as well? That would work. Burning oil stayed on the fire. Wait, does wait. fish oil catch a light? I think fish oil does. I think whale oil does, and we used to light fucking lanterns with that. This honored whale oil. Yeah, this is a fishing village. They should have more than enough fish oil. Or fish whale oil, oil is flammable. Whereas the oil is not flammable. Fish oil is flammable, but it's not spontaneously combusted. Um, so it kind of needs to have like some it... form of constant flame. Which does a firebolt help? Also, so it won't be able to keep its own flame. It wouldn't be able to keep its own flame initially. Um, it's like unlike say petrol, when you light it and it you know instantly catches. Um, Oil would require to be heated to a specific point to burn. However, it's also it would also aid in burning once it's so you essentially need to set fire to a certain amount of things, like say you know, a certain amount of trees, and then the oil would catch after it, so it would be an almost delayed reaction, Cudgel says. <laughs> hmm. I'm so glad I put a Scottish accent on her. <laughs> that was ex uh, you. I I would say speak with Than and see what you can get from the gnome flinger. It may save you getting a boat, however, still get those boats. Um, the people need to be evacuated, and I have a squire to prepare. I bid you all a good day, and you know, look at our face. May the gods be with us. Yes. Ah. May oh God be with us. You watch Hina. Straightens out and composes herself before leaving the room. So, Unless you have any other plans to try 
anything else you wish to explore as an option? Nope. What if we gonna... don't attack, but act defensively? Like those, those hundreds of guards or whatever that they act as defense, as the last, last line of defense for the civilians to evacuate. And again, all they said they would do is um, occupy us. How long did they say they wanted to occupy us for? for? One night. <laughs> they didn't. They said they'd they didn't. occupy you two night. Mm. Yeah. But if they notice us evacuating people... They not, they're not going to like that. Yeah, so I was thinking... Because like, they, ex they explicitly said not to. Like, evacuate, start evacuating to the people, but make like a line or something. Over here, of soldiers. Mm, absolutely not. That's not a great idea. At, at that point, they're in the city. They're they're in this same. They're in the city, and they're all over here. There are a thousand people. We assume, versus maybe two hundred and three hundred people spread out over a line. Their best choice is fighting up here, on the gate. Yeah. Well, yeah, we but have if, they, the if they can fly, that's a problem. If they F. can fly, they can easily. F. And that's why we aim for them first. Yeah, that's why we aim for them first if they can fly. And but again, they were not if, just with, if yeah. they can fly, we will have archers in the tower. Right. So the archers in the tower will take care of them first. So the best thing that we can do is funnel them through this valley here. Because we have a controlled area. There's probably going to be like, how many people could fit here? 50, 60 in that one area. And we have 200 or 300, however many guards we have in the city to fight these people. And take in mind, they're not out there fighting them with swords. We're pelting them with arrows. We just need to find a way to funnel them into the valley. Because that's a 50-foot drop each side. They're not climbing up that mountain. And even if they are, we have more people on the side pelting them with arrows. We need to find out a way to make this not an option for them. That's their strongest, that's their strongest thing right there. Is that they have that covered off with... Uh, archers and stuff. If they want to get to get down, they'd have to do a fifty foot drop. If they can fly, they can fly over, fly down. But if they wanted to get down from there, it's a fifty foot drop, all the way around. So I'm like, if we could do like poison gas, set the forest alight. So that's not an option for them because if this isn't important to us. This side over here is not important at all. We just need to follow them and kill them all in this valley. But what if they're resistant or immune to fire? They're going to be resistant to fire. There's not a lot of things in D&D 2 that are immune to fire. That's metagaming, but I know that as a player. <laughs> I mean, legends, legends are that dragons are resistant to fire. Especially if they're that's... fire dragons. You're not from the Yeah, dragon. Planet. I mean, no, we've heard, we've heard, we had our own dragons. First time here, but... I mean, just because it's a different plan doesn't mean it was, it, it didn't have the same culture or something, or same creature, similar creatures, dragons, for example. Well, all Fane knows is that these creatures breathe fire. As of being, as of being immune to it. Like, he can breathe fire, but he still gets hurt by fire. He knows that. Stop here, not all of this. <laughs> I can breathe fire? That, yeah, and can the, breathe that, fire. And the, that and the enemies breathe fire. You didn't even fight them. You cowered in a corner, pussy. No, we've had stories. In Dragonlance, you've said we've had heard stories of dragons. I think the main thing about dragons that a person I thought, you were, talking, I thought you were talking about the Draconians. Yeah. No, 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 no. I, He's I thinking they're... 
That's what the athletes like, actually talk about. Legends, legends of dragons. Yeah, they breathe yeah, fire, they breathe acid, yeah. they breathe poison and stuff. Yeah, he's thinking of legends of dragons, so he's assuming that these things can breathe fire. I'm, I'm thinking you're talking about these guys, and I'm like, hold on. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Can they, can they not breathe fire? Who knows? You don't know. I don't know. He didn't fight them. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but he's going off of, but say, we, we just tunnel them into that one valley. We can pelt them down with arrows and maybe get down their, um, numbers enough for support to come here. And whenever support does come here, they're going to have to come in the same valley that they, that they came through to get here and they can flank them. So they come. So now they're covered on both sides. Them at our gate, us at this wall. They're not able to use this up here, and now they're covered from both sides, getting destroyed. I think we spoke about this long enough. Use won't even. <laughs> I'm be sorry. Doing, use won't even be doing the fighting. Use. <laughs> use will be protecting the mayor, and the mayor will be getting out. We. I recommend you get the evacuations prepared. We don't have much time. If they right. meant evening, as in when the sun sets, we have about four hours now. If they meant evening by night, we have six. Uh -huh. Yes, he can die. Gladly. Watch you kind of rolls the map. I've listened to what you have said, and I have six, four to six hours to plan. Please do not draw a fucking penis. <laughs> bad, bad, Jalen. Bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Disadvantage in your next attack roll. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna look. I'll take this to my guts. Until then, I recommend you. I recommend you try to find a way to get some ships. You may be able to repurpose a ferry or speak to the fishers. Either way, you are now the evacuation force. Okay. We'll speak to the fishers next session. He watches the mayor stands. Then it's settled. We evacuate. He watches. She walks out. Stiff, stern. Almost as if to meet a hangman's nose. Fear in her eyes. It's because you looks around. Use will. Use will do things that you may never have done. If this turns to a war, remember that the fog of war changes who we are and what we do and what we see as right and wrong. Don't second guess your options. Don't second guess anything you've done in the past. Not until the war is over. Until then, let it weigh on your conscience ever so slightly, but remember that the actions that you took were not enough to have the enemy progress. What you did halted any advancement. You saved however many countless lives that day. And once it's all said and done, if you're on the right side of history, you will be remembered favorably. It has been good 
meeting you. And if things go sour and we never meet again, then it has been nice fighting with you. And she kind of puts her hand out. But I just hope it doesn't come to that, though. And she walks. Turns around and leaves to the back entrance of the crab. You stand there in the middle of the room. The scales of war tipping in one way or another. Your options now solidified. In less than eight hours' time, you will be occupied or you will be at war. However, in that time, the town must be evacuated. And that is where we'll leave it there for this session.